All right, so we've unboxed the, uh, the fan, and I think this is a pretty good spot right here. That, um, that's a support beam here, so I can screw into the front of the support beam for the fan. Um, I'm only going to do one thing, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can bend these down flat. I didn't want to go over two, so i uh, see how that happens. And uh, most people are going to use jigsaw. I'm going to use a chopper. I've got a blanket there. I shouldn't have put the tape on there, didn't need it. Anyway, let's chop. Alright, so we cut out the hole for the Max Fan. Um, people, people love calling it Max Fan, so I'll call it Max Fan. Uh, put some cold gal around there, some, some edge primer. That should be fine. I knocked down these, I'm not sure if it's going to be better or worse than what other people do. Um, it's got the main support here, so that's strong. Uh, clean up here a little bit, and we'll see what we can do. So we put, we got the uh, the fan in. The single flex jobs never look nice. That's the best way to do it. That um, knocking that those um, things down seem to be work a bit better. So that's where the fan's going. Just gonna let that dry a little bit, and then um, so we got not a bad. It's a bit it's a bit fiddly doing all this stuff. We've got the panels on. Got the fan cut out. I think I will get more, two more panels down the back, um, across there, and then I can get a, a different um, fan for the shower and toilet. I think the shower and toilet is going to be straight across there. I think that's going to work out perfect. And the aircon, need to see how big the aircon is. Let's have a look inside for this cutout. Um, yeah, you can't. Last time I chopped the fan in a roof, I didn't use it enough Sikaflex, I was a bit stingy. But um, this time I went overboard, it was like nearly a tube. Better be safe than sorry. Alright, not too much progress yesterday. Um, I've got the solar panels on too by 160 waters. Uh, they're the Bolt, Boltex ones, they fit perfect between the, um, the gutter channels. So if you're looking for solar panels, that fit perfect. There's the uh, existing mounts. Uh, if you put the bracket, the 25 by 50 bracket, aluminium bracket, bolt it to here, your solar panels will fit perfect across the front, side by side. Uh, a little bit of rain last night, so uh, not really a test of any leaks. I did have a tarp over this part, but um, uh, it's not too bad. Nice fan. Expensive, but it is nice. So, uh, see how that goes, remote control. 12 volt fan, so that's a, a temperature fan, you adjust it. Obviously, people have seen about them if they know about ca ca camper vans or whatever. RVs. It's got a thermostat in there, automatically opens and uh, gets the hot air out. So I worked out I could fit two more panels on the back, so I make it um, another 320 watts, so 640 watt all up. And from calculations, that's about just under 50 amps. Some people say it's 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 more, but they're never going to put out 160 watt during the day. So, um, so you know, you take at least 10% off. So my um, I've got a Renault Renergy DC to DC with solar. Uh, charger and that takes 50 50 amp maximum so I think the new plan is because 4 AGW cable is so expensive to run from there where I was going to put three, put the batteries at the back is like 200 bucks just for the cable so I thought no nah, I'll put the batteries here um, so we're going to have a seat here anyway 
little part for the batteries, the charger, uh, everything like that can go here. So, um, yep, that's the go. Might even be able to run the cables down, down through here, the solar cables. Oh, I can get them down through that side. Beautiful. Yep. So I, I think that's a better idea, and then I can have my charger, inverter, everything in that box. That's going to be a seat here, and it's just going to be nice. So there'll be in the back. There's going to be gas bottles and gas storage, and and a gas heater. And then if you put batteries there, it's just it's just a bit too much. So um, batteries there are nice. At least I can lift up and have a look in the car. It's going to have an automatic changeover switch from the inverter to the shore power. Uh, which I've done before and it's really well, it works really well. So the plan is we're going to have benches around here, uh, angle, 90 degree angle bench. The, the cooker and sink is going to be here. Down here. And then the shower is just going to be here. I'm not sure how big showers normally go in RVs, so I'll have to take a look. I think I've done about 800 by 800 but that may be a bit big. So I'll have to uh, 800 by 700 maybe and then a big queen bed in the back. Um, the young fella's going to have a bed so this bench in the corner here is going to be flat so the, the sink tap and everything folds down so we, we can put a mattress on top there so he can sleep there. We're going to leave that board and leave the window Maybe just floor it, or just even leave it like that. It doesn't look too bad. Not sure where we're going to put the TV. I mean, uh, put the um, put the window. Maybe in that door there, uh, there, or in the door. Not too sure yet. So we'll just have to see. I think if we have a window. We could maybe put it here, but it depends how high the fridge is. That's the problem. The fridge is pretty high. So I'm just waiting for some bits to come in. Um, I ordered uh, two tanks from Atlas Tanks in Queensland uh, for the grey water and fresh water. 120 litre and 110 litre. So this is an extra long wheelbase, so we can get the bigger, the bigger tank at the back. Um, I looked at all these other tanks. They just don't fit. They're just the wrong size. They don't fit anywhere. Yeah, I could have got away with 50 litre tanks, but then you'd need two of them. You've got to plumb them up, then you've got to make brackets for them, and they, and they still don't fit properly. Uh, these are custom tanks, including shipping, was about 900 bucks from from Queensland, which isn't bad. And these are big, big custom tanks. Nice. So the grey water is coming under this side, past uh, driver side, and the other tank is going to go. Uh, under the back. I'm not going to show you, but there's heaps of room under there between the diff and the spare wheel. Um, so I think we're still working it out. I think the gas bottles are going to be here. Maybe the cutout's going to be in here somewhere. And then the gas uh, water heater's going to be there. Or I could put it up there in that corner bit, but I think here's going to be better. Because the shower is going to be here, um, can't really cut too much away from there. All right, so what we've done, we've we've taken out the the roof lining up the front here, and we're, oh we're gonna gosh. and we're gonna put um, we're gonna put uh, foil sound deadening all up through there. It's pretty quiet as it is, but um, and got to clean the roof anyway. So we've we've pressure washed the roof. Oh, it's a bit of an afternoon project, a uh, bit of insulation up there. I took the uh, took the interior cover out anyway to give it a gurney. It was a bit bit uh, bit dirty, so um, that sticks up nice. Just roll it on with a little roller. eBay, it's pretty expensive. I shouldn't have got two boxes, but I got two boxes, and uh, um, so we'll just have to measure the one that we do here. We'll probably just overlap it. Won't have to cut it down. So it's pack up time now, Friday afternoon, only a couple of hours, one hour or two. Done that one, cleaned it, um, done a couple strips at the back here, 
and that was pretty much one roll gone so that's fair enough I'm going to put the uh, the sand deadening at the back where the where the bed is just for the, just the rain if, if it rains it's it's really noisy so put that at the back the other stuff can just be the foam